Hello and welcome back to the coffee vlog. We're going to continue my quest to find some good fall and winter holiday flavors. Um, I have my new Tarani order from around Thanksgiving. I know I was supposed to make it earlier and we were supposed to have these fall and winter flavors ready for fall, but I think everybody's still behind. Um, blame 2020 and here we are. Um, so in today's holiday, so first of all, one of the fall flavors that I love is Starbucks brown sugar oat milk thing, and then they have the apple crisp thing. Macchiato, maybe? I love those. Um, I want to be able to make them at home. Um, I'm not against Starbucks. I obviously go to Starbucks, but I much prefer to support small local coffee shops whenever possible, and I prefer to make things at home whenever possible. So. I want to try to figure out an alternative to those. <clears throat> I was intending to try this for iced lattes, but it is 13 degrees outside. It is not iced latte season. Again, this was supposed to be done in the summer. So we're going to make hot lattes with them. So in an attempt, so if you look at the recipe for Starbucks thing, it had, they have a brown sugar apple syrup, something to that effect. Trani didn't have anything like that. They just have an apple. So we got that and they have brown sugar cinnamon. So we're gonna try pairing these and seeing if that works for the uh, apple, brown sugar, crispy, macchiato, whatever. We're also gonna try this by itself and see if it works for the brown sugar oat milk thing. I'm not gonna, again, we're not gonna use oat milk right now. We're just gonna make a latte, a hot latte. So this is gonna be the winter version as opposed to the fall version. <clears throat> Lastly, as you saw in the uh, previous video, or depending on what order these go up in, in one of the other videos at least, I have the Tarani cinnamon syrup. So we're gonna try pairing that with the apple as well, and we'll try that by itself. Um, I used to get a Cinnabon K-Cups that I liked very much. That was before I transitioned to uh, Nespresso um, or sometimes the Mocha Pot as opposed to uh, um, K-Cups. So we'll try the cinnamon syrup by itself. I'm not intending on making this a by itself thing. I'm, I'm thinking maybe if you pair this with vanilla that might be like a cinnamon or maybe with Irish cream or something with cream. Um, I'm guessing it'll need another flavor, but that's another video. We're just gonna try it by itself in this video and maybe mixed with the apple. We're gonna try the brown sugar by itself and we'll try uh, the brown sugar mixed with the apple. So let's go into the kitchen and make some lattes. Hey, so we're back at the coffee machine and in the order that I'm testing them, this is the last of the new Tarani order for fall winter 2022. Um, I'm not sure what order the videos will go up, so if this goes up out of order, I apologize. So today's test is a little bit different. Um, I really, two things I wanted to replicate or make a better version of at home. Um, they're both fall things, so I'm kind of late now with them being in the winter. They would normally be like iced fall things when it's still kind of warm outside. Um, which was Starbucks, brown sugar, oat milk, macchiato, and then they have a spiced apple crisp. I think it's the same thing, spiced oat milk, macchiato, something like that. Anyhow, I really like those, and I badly wanted to make them at home. I made my own brown sugar syrup and tried that. I don't even know if I filmed that. Um, if, if I did, it's up already, and I've forgotten about it. Um, but here is Tarani's brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Here is Tarani's cinnamon syrup. Here's Tarani's apple syrup. Now, I could not find a brown sugar cinnamon syrup, which is what Starbucks uses. I know you can buy Starbucks, but I don't... It's sometimes hard to find and expensive, and I, just, I don't want to limit myself to something I might not be able to replace if I really like it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to try brown sugar cinnamon by itself, we're going to try cinnamon by itself, and then we're going to try um, two spoonfuls of brown sugar cinnamon and one spoonful of apple. And if we don't love that, then maybe we'll try the same thing. We'll do a bonus round with um, with the cinnamon. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna do brown sugar cinnamon by itself first. Again, these may be intended for like an iced macchiato, um, but it is very cold outside. Alexa, what's the weather? 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're not uh, gonna do ice drinks. We'll try those again when it warms up a little. I put three spoonfuls of that. I have to remember to do 
three spoonfuls of the um, <clears throat> of the uh, uh, non pure made four four or more spoonfuls of the pure made. So, and keep in mind when I make these for testing purposes, I'm making them very strong syrup wise. I'm using the cappuccino button on there, which is a one single shot of espresso and a small amount of milk, and then we're using a lot of syrup. So what we're mainly tasting when we taste these is the syrup. When I actually make a latte or a cappuccino, uh, most of the time it'd be a latte because I'm not gonna make a, a cappuccino with syrup, um, although I have, <coughs> and am right now. Um, but when I make it to actually drink around the house, most of the time I would use the latte button, which would have more milk, and then sometimes I'll do a second shot. So in other words, the ratios are all gonna be different. Uh, when I'm actually drinking it, but this is kind of over the course of doing videos what I found as for the best way to test syrups. Because when there's minor differences, sometimes it gets lost, you know, when the syrup isn't the predominant flavor. And we're trying to really kind of get into the weeds here because that's how OCD I am. Why don't I... Okay, so we're going to do... One spoonful. That's oh, that I like the smell of that. That smells like sour apple in a good way. I like that. We'll do two. Of, it's funny. That's the only one I got like a really strong. That one's got a. That one smells good. It smells kind of Christmassy, but only when you open it up. That one smells like cinnamon, which is what it is, but again, it's not like a strong, when I opened that apple one, it was like, bam, apple, and I was like, oh, hi, apple. You got any, anything to add, baby? No. I've just been running at the mouth because I didn't want to pause the camera. Yeah, no, that was, that was a great story. Apple said hi, and you said hello. I thought that was beautiful. Well, I wouldn't want to be rude. It's not talk back. Should have put that Christmas cookie in a Ziploc so it didn't get stale. I did not do that. <coughs> I got that so it would look like Christmas. Here, I can show the camera. Eh? Holiday magic. One year we're going to make Christmas cookies and decorate them. So that was a thing. What's that, that mean? You cut, them out. you cut them out in the shape of gingerbreads and Jesuses and camels and Christmas trees and whatever. And then you frost them. You know, you'll decorate the Christmas tree. You'll put eyes on the camel, you know, hair on Jesus or I don't know, whatever. I guess not the baby Jesus. I don't know what I'm saying here. So you cut them out in Christmas shapes and then you frost them and decorate them however you please. And uh, it was a something we did when we were kids. It was like a fun family project. The reason why I haven't like suggested we do that previous Christmas is when it's just been you and me is because it's probably my least favorite of the things that you bake to eat at Christmas. Is it, are they crispy? Yeah. They're oh. like crunchy sugar cookies. They're not oh. soft. I mean, you could probably bake them soft, but then they wouldn't hold up when you decorate them. Well, how hard do you decorate them? Oh, I decorate hard. <laughs> That's very, very Christmassy. I don't know if it would work for the iced thing. That cinnamon is very, it's, it's, you don't get as much sweetener, you get a lot of cinnamon, which I'm not mad at that. I don't need it to be sweet, I need it to be flavorful. Apple thing kind of hits that a little bit. like a weird combination. Apple and cinnamon? And coffee? Try it. I'm confused. You're going to try it, I'm not, because I'm not going to tell you which it is. I'm going to make a fourth one, though, like I said I would, that's going to have apple and cinnamon as opposed to apple and brown sugar cinnamon. Heck, maybe I'll try all three. Heck, you're so folksy. Right. Oh, gee willikers. Oh, gosh, what, you, you think so, Mrs. Newman? Yeah, I, this is exhaustion uh, plus sugar and coffee. It's either a great combination for content or a terrible combination for content. Ooh, which was that that we made the face at? What did it taste like? Unpleasantness? No. Cucumbers. 
I don't think there's a cucumber flavor up here, so I think you're... Okay, this one must be cinnamon. Oh, this first one is really nice. I, I guess that must be the Christmassy one. Yeah. That's the one that we, um... We tried before, actually. We took that on a Christmas lights viewing road trip. Let me try it again, because I thought the flavor was obvious, but... Not the apple one? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just that plus coffee. I'm going to take that back over here, because I'm going to try this one, too. And I might try adding another spoonful of apple. Granted, in the, in the Starbucks version... It's a lot. The milk ratio is much higher. Again, I'm doing low milk for these since we're testing a lot of them. Yeah, maybe it mellows it out. Yeah. But I don't get, like, a strong apple from that. I get just, like... I don't get a strong apple either. It just tastes... It's, it's got, the, it's got the, the, the cinnamon flavor, and then there's, like, a bitter crispness to it. I just... That plus coffee is just... My brain is having trouble computing it. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it, but I, um... You're more adventurous. Here, try this one. Okay. Are you done with these other two? Yeah. How do you feel about the cinnamon? I know you like the brown sugar cinnamon. How do you I feel about... I like the cinnamon as much as the brown sugar cinnamon. I actually like the cinnamon, but I, I didn't think the cinnamon would be a good option by itself. Yeah. I thought it would be like something you mix with something else, like cinnamon and vanilla, now you got cinnamon bun. This is doing something weird. What you mean? Come over here and look at this. I'm not difficult. It's just milk fat. I'll clean the milk, but I mean, we're done making coffee, so just taste it and tell me how it tastes okay. to you. I probably could have cleaned this between. That's better. Okay, now I'm gonna add another spoonful of apple to the two apple ones. We'll see if we can bring out the apple flavor and see if that makes it better or worse. What are you talking about? Bring out more apple? I thought we were driving away from it. We're driving towards apple, actually. I see what you're saying. It is, it is a little lumpy, but it's just because we got to the bottom of the milk. And, uh... Interesting. This one does not work with more apple. This one I think works fine. I'll let you try the one that I think works fine. I'm not going to ask you to try the one that I think is worse. Because I don't Because I don't want to hear your mouth. It was a lot sweeter. Yeah. That helped. But yeah, it's not as weird. Are you getting the apple taste though? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm... I am, but well, at least I'm getting the taste of what a Starbucks apple thing, like, is supposed to taste like. So, yeah. but again, I also like, you know, apple pie and apple cider and apple other thing. You think the mic is hearing you with the water running? Yeah, I do. You've done this before. I've done this before. I'm just doing a little cleaning up while we're talking about it so that we can move on to the final taping. So what's this that I'm drinking? You are drinking cinnamon and apple in equal parts. Well, that's that's an interesting combination. It's, yeah. It's better than just apple. Next time I might try, like when I'm just making it at home, I might experiment with like maybe cinnamon, apple, brown sugar, cinnamon, apple, caramel. I don't know. Well, we'll see what we can do to get it. That looks okay, but I, it's, we're at the end of the milk anyway, so I'll pour it out. Um, so yeah, brown sugar cinnamon is a win, but I don't know if it's going to work in the, um, in the brown sugar macchiato thing. It's just, it's got a very strong holiday flavor that doesn't, mm -hmm. the, um, 
The cinnamon by itself actually, I think worked really nice and we can make like a nice cinnamon bun with vanilla or Irish cream or something like that. And if I find anything that I really like, I'll do a video on it. I'm probably not gonna do a video experimenting with, it, with like combining flavors. But if I make something and I combine the flavors and I like it, I'll do a video on that. <clears throat> apple, it worked okay. I would really still like to find an apple brown sugar or apple cinnamon syrup that's designed for making apple lattes or macchiatos because none of these are. I think it would probably get me closer to what I'm doing and then maybe Nia wouldn't hate it so much. So, okay. Um, so we have a strong buy it for the brown sugar cinnamon, but again, it is a very holiday. It paired well with the gingerbread um, and a moderate buy it for the cinnamon and um, the last one. As always, our videos have a sponsor, and that sponsor is Fanstick. Please continue to support our sponsor and buy Fanstick. Thanks for watching.